Let's learn how to add textures to your animations in Adobe Animate 2021. Tip tut. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut and welcome to another Adobe Animate tutorial. Today we're going to use a clever masking technique to add textures to any of your existing or new animations that you've made in Adobe Animate. Famously, Adobe Animate doesn't have a lot of textured brushes or anything like that that you can work with, so instead we use masking. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see here, I have a very basic animation that I have made. This is all just done uh, frame by frame and we have our character sort of jumping up in the air. There is a camera layer that is following our character around so that it, the camera tracks her properly. What I'd like to do is add a little bit of texture to her jumpsuit. So I have some textured files that I have made uh, in Photoshop. I have just got a textured brush that I can show you. So I just create a new layer and using my brush tool I can just add texture like so. So this can be any texture you want. This is like a denim spotted texture. This could be crumpled paper. It could be whatever you want. And I've just taken four different brushes, which are essentially the same brush, just slightly different positions, uh, and exported those as four separate images, like so. As you can see, I've already done a test with some like crumpled plastic textures and things like that. So you can do this for whatever you want. Inside Adobe Animate, I'm going to add this to her jumpsuit and we're going to give her this dotted texture. So let's just do that. The first step is to create your texture object that you're going to be using. So we're going to go to insert and new symbol, and we're going to create a symbol just called texture. Make sure that this is a graphic symbol. You can see in the drop down box here and just click OK. It doesn't matter about the size because the size will be dictated by your textured images. So inside our new symbol, we're going to go to file, import, import to library. And we're going to grab our four textured images like so. These are just 1920 by 1080 images that I've made. And that's going to pop them inside our library. Let's go down to our timeline. And if I zoom in to make it a little bit easier, I'm just going to add a new keyframe with F7 on frames 1, 3, 5, and 7. Because we have, of course, um, four images that we'll be using. And I want each of those images to last two frames. So what I'll do is I'll just take my texture here and I'll drag it onto my stage. I'll go over a couple of frames, drag it onto my stage. Now you could just import these to the stage directly. There's a myriad of different ways to get images into um, Adobe Animate. But what I like to do is just go to a line, pop it to the stage in the middle, and then that means that our um, registration point for our images are central to our stage, which is fantastic for transforming and rotating and scaling the symbols and things like that. So now we have four frames that uh, if we extend our little loop here, we can see now we have these animated looping textures, which is fantastic for us. So let's just click this little arrow to drop out of our texture, go back to our main scene. And let's just make sure, first of all, that we have a layer to place our texture on. So I'm going to go underneath my jumpsuit layer. I'm going to click new layer. And I have a camera. I'm going to disconnect this layer from the camera by clicking the little disconnect icon here. This just means that when I drag it in, it will stay in the same position on the stage. So I grab my texture graphic. I drag that in like so. I go to my align tool and I pop it in the middle of the stage. Really simple. OK, the next step is one click just to solve this and to apply this texture to the specific layer that we want. So, for example, I have my jumpsuit layer here which I'll unlock so we can see what that selects, this kind of jumpsuit area. Like so, I just want to right click my jumpsuit layer and just choose mask. That will immediately mask the layer underneath and only show the content of the layer underneath where there is content on your mask layer. So this is your jumpsuit layer. Now, as you can see, the first part of this animation doesn't quite work because there is no content on our jumpsuit layer uh, up until frame number 37. So at frame 37, I'm just going to hit F6 to add in a keyframe and delete that texture beforehand by unlocking the layer and just clicking delete. In order to preview your mask, you need to make sure that both of your layers are locked. That's your mask layer and your content layer. And then when you play your animation, boom, we now have animated textures inside Adobe Animate, which looks pretty good. And the great thing about this technique is that if you want to, you can swap out your textures really easily. For example, I can just unlock my texture layer here click on the keyframe, right click on the stage and choose swap symbol. I could swap it out to, for example, texture two here, which I'll just quickly realign to fit the stage again. Let's lock our layer. And now we have got a switched out texture for this plastic texture instead of our dotted polka dot denim. And really that is all there is to it. Uh, this works with any layer 
that has that is maskable essentially so really simple technique hope you've enjoyed this one guys i found this uh, quite an interesting little technique to do uh, it really spruces up your animations quite easily so if you have liked this video make sure to like comment subscribe bring the notification bell all the other crap that youtube makes me ask you to do and i'll see you next time for another episode of tip Tap. Massive thank you to my level 2 and above members, WN62, Ian Costello, Rob V, Jason Colruddy, MP, Dima Eva Voller first, Melon Hoover, Josh C, Ursula Fermanska, The Saucier, Lali Lulilo X, Andrew Hammond, Jenna Carey, Jobs Animations, Relic M, Noreen Abdilla, Barbara Reznor, Lone Wolf 16, Ira D, Political Psychology, Maybe Sharma Cross, Kevin Murphy, Mariam Devar, JK Digital, Creations, Jeremy Stewart, Tim Fitzgerald, and Lonely to Cook. <sighs> Wow, it's getting really hard to say all of that in one breath. Thank you ever so much, you bloody lovely people. If you'd like to become a member of the Tip Tart Zone, click that join button below for exclusive perks and benefits. Remember to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.